Hello and welcome. Today I will show with you the importance of XP Dirtree together with Responder and how you can leverage these two together to get a lot of uh, helpful information back. So really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, it's best of luck. And Responder is allowed on the OCP exam, but it's not allowed uh, spoofing or poisoning capabilities. So a way to get around that is just to always make sure you use the dash A, which is analyze, and then dash V is just verbose. So you can run it like so. And then we can look up to our own IP through a random share. Boom. Now we have the hash of SQL service. So I think this is uh, probably the intended way. So let us save that hash and let's try to crack it. So let's see, John word list, user share, word list, raw queue, and add the hash. Awesome. We have more creds now. So we have SQL service and this password. So that's good. What I like to do then is that I like to Check what kind of permissions this user has. I guess we can now run users and see if there's any credentials in the description fields. There is not. Um, we can also see that that it does not say pawn right there. So we, this person is not a local admin on this host. Um, we can check with we can check with MSSQL again and then also then our uh, not users. Okay. So that's that user and does not say pond. Let me check with Vinaram as well. And there we go. They're a part of Windows Remote Management Group, so that's awesome. Um, so we can actually get a shell using this, so let's do that. So evil vin rm, uh, I think it's dash i for the IP. The user is equal service, and then the password is this. And there we go. Now we have a shell. I first like to look at the permissions. And I don't see something, I don't see any immediately interesting permissions. Um, so let me run power up. Python 3, HTTP server at 80. It seems that it's already running. Oh, well, it's causing responder, yes. Um, Let's W get this and then power up piece one output power up piece one. Like so. Let's uh, run that file and let's invoke the function all checks like so. So it's not finding much interesting so far. If it finds an DLL hijack, so I don't tend to care because it's almost never the way. It's more so useful for persistence. All right, so I can't find anything immediately. Hmm. I could run Vrim piece, but I will do that later if I get stuck. Yeah. Um, I would like to check with Certify and also Bloodhound to see if there's any immediate paths. So I guess we can just say equal service uh, shell over Vinran. No immediate interesting finds for Prevesk with groups and power up. Check 30 pi. Wind peace and bloodhound.
just because I like to check for a quick wins first, which is the preference. Um, so let me look up Certify. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.